channel. So today I decided to do a fun video for you guys since we are in the month of December, which is the Christmas month, I thought I would share with you my Nutcracker collection slash obsession slash hobby. <laughs> um, I started collecting these Nutcrackers about three, four years ago. You know, now since I'm working, making my own money, I get to spend it the way I like. And the way I like is collecting Nutcrackers. I've always been in the holiday spirit. Christmas and December in general is just my favorite holiday and month. You know, I really get into the spirit. I start putting my Christmas tree up even before Thanksgiving because I want it to last for a good two months. You know, I don't wait till December. I do it way beforehand. Um, and just to give you guys a little backstory, ever since I was younger, my mom would take me to go see the Nutcracker Ballet at Lincoln Center in Manhattan. And that is by far all my all-time favorite ballet to go see. It's well done, it's well choreographed, and it's just so beautiful the way how they decorate the stage, how the ballerinas dress up. Absolutely beautiful, and I've always been obsessed with the ballet ever since I was younger. So now that I'm making my own money and December is basically my month to splurge and the month I love the most, I decided to start collecting these Nutcrackers. So I just wanted to share a few with you guys today. So here's my first guy. So him I got last year. Do a little bit of an up close to show you guys. So he has this beautiful gold and white details with these diamonds all over and I got him from Michaels last year. Um, so by the way, I usually never get these guys full price because full price, they're about 50, 60, almost $100 and I'm not gonna spend that type of money. Usually after Christmas, they have really good sales on these guys, about 50, 70% off and that's usually when I get them. So this guy, he stands about six inches tall um, and I got him from Michaels and I think it was only like 12 bucks from the sale that they had, the after Christmas sale, which was a complete steal so I had to have him and he's the only gold one that I have. This second Nutcracker I got is actually the first Nutcracker I ever added to my collection. I just thought this was so unique. You know, he's like an evil Nutcracker holding a Nutcracker. I mean, guys, come on. Doesn't get any better than that. And this cute little cape that he had, this guy actually started my collection. I think I saw him in TJ Maxx like three years ago. And I just thought, what a brilliant idea they made here. Like an evil Nutcracker holding a Nutcracker. I mean, I don't know. I just went crazy over it. And this is the first guy I got. And then it's been downhill ever since then. So these next two guys I also got at Michael's when they had their clearance sale. Um, this guy stood out to me because, I mean, just look at him. This beautiful light blue color with the red. And this candy cane slash mint candy that I saw with it. I was just absolutely obsessed and the red glitter bottom when I saw this I absolutely fell in love and had to have them I just thought this was so unique I've never seen anything you know with these light and beautiful colors I know now these last two years I have seen them making more kind of candy cane candy nutcrackers that are very colorful and vibrant and nice beautiful like summer colors um, so I become obsessed but I saw this one last year and I had to have it because just this beautiful blue color just really stood out to me and I just got obsessed. So this next one right here, this beautiful blue and gold, uh, sorry, not blue. <laughs> it's definitely not blue. This beautiful red and gold one I also got from Michaels as well. Um, so as mentioned, both of these guys, the, both of these guys, the one I just showed previously with the candy cane and this guy right here, they both stand about a foot. Um, and I think I believe I got both of these guys for either 20 or under $20 each, which is amazing for a one foot high nutcracker. Um, I thought it was a great steal and I love these drums that come with him. Um, yeah, I was just obsessed when I saw this guy and the one previously, I just had to have them and they were a good bargain and I couldn't pass it up. And this next guy, I actually got, I want to say, a couple months after I got the Nutcracker with the eye patch. This guy I got at TJ Maxx downtown. He's this beautiful white and silver with this gold sword detail and these little diamonds along the sides that I absolutely fell in love with. But what really got me is if you look inside the cape, I'm not sure if it's going to focus, this beautiful silver detail that they have. I was obsessed. I saw this guy and I had to have him. He was very unique. Um, he was the first one I added with this sword. Um, I never had one with a sword. So I try to, when I go out and look for my Nutcrackers, I try to find something different. Usually that's doable because they usually have a lot of different things that they carry in their hands. They have, um, they have drums, they have swords, depending if they're themed, like they'll have the candy canes, 
they'll have candies, they have acorns. I mean, there's so many nutcrackers out there and there's so many themes and so many different things that they're holding that I'm obsessed. I mean, you can't just buy one and be done with it. They're just so different. It's like, how can you buy one and choose from one? So I definitely see myself collecting for years to come. Years to come, guys. <laughs> this guy, Oh, and I didn't mention, sorry, that last guy, he also stands about a foot tall, so he's also pretty big. And I think I got him for like 20, 30 bucks, not more than that, which was a great steal for him. This guy, I actually got this here at Home Goods. And again, I don't know why, but I am just absolutely drawn to these beautiful silver and white nutcrackers. Look at this, the detailing of like this suit that he has on. Obsessed, obsessed. He is just absolutely amazing. And I think he stands about um 15 or 16 inches so i walked into home goods and it's funny because my friend actually picked this out i didn't even see this guy she saw this guy and she was like hey anna look at this nutcracker because she knows i'm obsessed and i was like done don't don't even have to look at it love it this detailing and it was clean it wasn't beaten up it was literally the last one there done i had to have it um and just again the detailing with this you know uh with this what is this called this uh point stick <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it because it's not a sword but this point stick and then the little Christmas tree I just thought oh my god this is so Christmas so festive so adorable I just I had to have it no questions asked and then this last guy is another pretty big one he stands about three feet and this guy I got at Rite Aid um so if you go into your local Rite Aids I don't know, I actually haven't seen it yet this year, but the previous years they've always had nutcrackers. The two big ones that I'm gonna show you in my living room, those guys I got, one I got last year and the other one I got the year previous, they usually only have three or four of them that they sell in the store. Um, so this guy actually, I'll get back to those when I show you those, but this guy stands about three feet. Um, so he has this beautiful, beautiful uh, gold and blue detailing cape that I really loved. Also the drums, again, I do try to look for something different, but just if the colors stand out to me or if I love the Nutcracker I see, I'm just gonna get it because I'm obsessed. <laughs> um, yeah, so this guy stands pretty tall, he's pretty big. He's right about a little bit below my hip, so I believe he's about three feet. And yeah, I just fell in love with him. I love the Christmas colors on him, you know, the blue, the red, and the green. There's just something, I don't know, I'm just so drawn to these guys. I couldn't even tell you what it is, Just. I'm absolutely obsessed. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, so the other two nutcrackers, I will show you guys. I actually have them sitting in my living room by the tree. So come with me guys and I'll show you them. So well, these two are the last two that I was talking about. These two I got about a year apart. Again, this beautiful detailing on them. They both stand about maybe like four almost five feet they're pretty high and I have them by my tree every year uh, this one is the first one that I got and him I got two years ago in Rite Aid and they usually have a really good sale after Christmas they usually have 50 70 percent off and that's when I get these guys because originally they're 50 bucks and usually they're about 25 30 dollars when I go and get them after the season so these were a steal and then I just want to show you guys this is how they look with the Christmas tree. So they stand pretty high and they're a really good deal. So again, obsessed and I fell in love with them and I got them. All right guys, so that's it. I showed you the two big ones that I had in the living room and that's basically the complete collection I have right now. Um, again, like I said, Christmas is my favorite month. Uh, you go into stores and you always see different nutcrackers. So definitely stay tuned because for the next few years, I definitely will be collecting more. And then once hopefully when I move into a house, I mean, they're gonna be all over. So my collection is definitely gonna grow for years to come and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, just little hints and tips. Uh, don't always go for the first nutcracker you see. Usually places like Home Goods, TJ Maxx and all that stuff, they have them laying around everywhere. So, you know, really look at the nutcracker too. Um, you know, I kind of lucked out with the ones that I got from Michaels cause I did get those shipped to me. So I didn't buy them in store. So I couldn't really judge the quality and if they were beaten up because you do go into stores 
and you see a lot of them are beaten up like you know certain parts of the clothes or something are ripped or scratched up or the woods beat up and they're not great quality so i wouldn't advise buying them online because sometimes they don't package them well actually there was an extra nutcracker that i did get with my michael's package but it came in broken so i actually ended up throwing it away because it was broken to a point like gluing it it wouldn't look right so i had to throw it out because you really got to be careful with these things so i definitely would recommend going into stores and buying them and really looking at the condition and quality um if you're gonna go to stores like for example pier one or rite aid has them wait till right before the end of christmas or after christmas because that's when you're gonna get them for the best bargain and the best deals again i've never paid full price for any of these like i wait till they go on sale usually christmas they have a lot left over because i mean let's be real who's gonna spend 40 50 dollars on a nutcracker i mean yes i'm obsessed and i love them but again, I would never pay full price and I know that after Christmas they go on sale and that's when I wait and get them. So I definitely would advise that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy holidays and you know, more Christmas things to come on my channel. Thanks guys.